Ben's crazy lighting is back because it is the time of day when the lighting is crazy. That's how it's gonna be. So this is the first video I'm gonna make in a series of how to start an Etsy shop and how to grow it and build it and do all the cool things that you wanna do with an Etsy shop. I am making a YouTube commitment within a YouTube commitment here. I have a lot of videos planned for this series and I hope I make them all. <laughs> in this first video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why you might wanna sell on Etsy, why you should just live with the fact that there are fees and it's not a huge deal, how to figure out what you wanna sell and some realities about working up to actually making a profit on Etsy, it's a slow roll. I'm just gonna say that right here. Building up your shop is a slow roll unless you're like naturally a person who likes marketing and has a huge platform of people already at your disposal. It's, it's for the rest of us, it's tough. And then I'm gonna make future videos on how to price your items, how to take pictures, how to list your items, how to do good customer service, how to deal with negative feedback, how to ship items, how to fulfill items, how to get your first few sales, all that good stuff. Cause I wanna get really in depth into it. I want to get really in depth. And if you have any questions along the way, feel free to leave them in the comments and it might inspire me to make another video about something I might not have even considered because it's been a while since I started up my own shop. So for the sake of background, like who am I to tell you anything about Etsy? I sell hula hoops on Etsy. My shop is just hoops. There's a link in the description of like every dang video I make. I've been like legit putting all my effort into Etsy for about four years, three or four years now I think. I have over 2,000 sales and I've got over 500 five-star reviews, so I feel like I have a pretty good handle on how to sell on Etsy. I will be the first to say I'm not like a pro at it. I'm not the best in the world at it. There are things I could definitely do better. At this point, Etsy is more like my side business hobby. I did spend about two years doing it totally full time and all of my income and profit came from Etsy. Those years were really hard, but I learned a lot. <laughs> so this is just a little intro video before we get into future videos where, where I will get into the nitty gritty of like setting up your shop and how to do all that in the least stressful way possible because setting up your shop is honestly the hardest part of selling on Etsy, I think. Some reasons you might want to sell on Etsy if you're not doing it already is it's a nice side income. If you have something you like to make and you can make it pretty quickly and for a reasonable amount of money, then you can post it on Etsy and make a few extra sales, make a little bit of extra money. If you sell in person at shows and people are constantly asking you like, where can I find you online? And you don't have a website or anything, Etsy is a good thing to slap on your card and be like, here's where to find me in addition to Facebook and social media where you can still give me money for the thing that you like right now. Etsy is great if you suck at web design like me. I totally suck at web design. I tried to build my own personal website shop and it just was hard and a failure. Etsy is a platform that is established. It's got a pre-built in search mechanism so people can find you. It's set up well to sell to people who are trying to buy things. <laughs> I know there are other places you can sell. I sold briefly on Store Envy and I just didn't like it but I think that had more to do with the fact that I was so used to selling on Etsy that I didn't like having to shift my mental focus to a different platform. You might like Store Envy and I hear, uh, at least at the, when I did it, they didn't charge fees, but I'm gonna make an argument for fees right now. I've talked to a lot of people about setting up Etsy shops. I'm like, you should set up an Etsy shop for this if you like to make it. And they say like, ah, oh, but I have to pay fees on Etsy, so I don't wanna do it. To which my response is, so what? <laughs> Ask yourself, how much income am I currently making from this thing that I don't want to pay Etsy fees to sell? If the answer is little to nothing, then you're honestly not losing that much by paying 20 cents to Etsy for a listing fee. Especially if it gains you the opportunity to make a whole lot more money from your thing. So you pay a 20 cent listing fee and then you t pay a tiny percentage for what your item sells for. And then there's a small fee that like the credit card company that Etsy works with charges. So if I sell a $40 hoop, I'm paying like less than $2 in Etsy fees and payment fees. If I don't sell a hoop, I'm out 20 cents. Woo! <laughs> so setting up a decent Etsy shop with like 20 items in it to start is only gonna cost you $4. If you sell at a craft fair, you're gonna pay like 30 up to like hundreds of dollars for the booth fee. You're gonna have to set up infrastructure and displays. You're gonna have to make all your stuff in advance so that you have it there to sell. And you might not sell a single thing. I've been to shows where I haven't sold a single thing. It happens. So last year I vended at craft shows and the year before I only sold on Etsy. The year that I vended at craft 
craft shows. I made more money overall, but I made less profit because I sunk a lot of it into the craft shows. It was fun, but it's way less profitable than just selling on Etsy. And if you still feel funny about the fees, think about it as the money that you spend on gas getting to and from work. It's a negligible, necessary expense to allow you to make more money in the long run. Overall, Etsy's fees are really small. If you have like a little thing that you're selling that you're only selling for a dollar, you might not want to sell that on Etsy. The fees might actually get you in the end for that. So that is something to consider, which leads me into my next point, choosing what to sell on Etsy. You might be watching this video already knowing that you have something you'd like to make that you want to sell and you're just trying to figure out how to set up a shop, if it's worth it, da 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 da. If you are like me and just like selling things, you might have no clue what to sell on Etsy, but just really like the concept of having a shop, which is totally valid, but I warn you, it might take you a few tries to get it right. When you're deciding what to sell, you should look at a few factors. Number one, is it something you enjoy making? More than that, is it something you can make relatively quickly, like you can hopefully make more than one a day? These aren't hard and fast rules, these are just suggestions, but ideally you want something quick, easy to make, relatively easy to ship. But most importantly, something you enjoy making and can make over and 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 over again for like lots of years if you intend to keep your shop open for that long. Number two, most important thing is do people actually want to buy it? This was the problem with the first shop I opened. No one wanted our stuff. It's difficult when no one wants the thing that you love to make, but you can keep playing around with your hobbies and skill sets and figure out something that people actually do want. You might not even know that you can make something people want to buy until you start sharing the things that you make on social media. I highly recommend that, by the way. If you make things and you're not sharing them on social media and you're interested in selling them, start like posting, I just made this thing on Facebook. And if people are like, oh, I want one, how do I buy one? Where's your Etsy shop? That's a clue. <laughs> and I'm gonna end this Etsy intro video with a warning. It takes time and it takes effort to start building up sales on Etsy. You're gonna have to do a lot of work and you might not see a whole lot of results for a while from that work. And you just kinda have to like accept that that's how it's gonna be. Hopefully the process of setting up the shop and learning how to tweak your listings and your photographs and all that will be enjoyable enough to keep you motivated and hopefully you enjoy making your stuff that coming up with new ideas will help kind of propel you through the really long slog of like getting your shop rolling and it's kind of one of those things where you're in a tough position like you're not an established shop because no one has bought from you yet and no one will buy from you because you're not an established shop so in a future video I am gonna talk about ways to deal with that how to get your first few sales and how to just kind of overcome that initial slow roll. That's all I've got to say for this video. My next Etsy related video is going to be about pricing and how to price your items in a way that makes you feel okay, but also not selling yourself totally short. So I will see you next time and goodbye. Oh, this is the end screen. I'm gonna do that end screen thing. Hello, my name is Jess, and the video you just watched is part of my U52 project, where I endeavor to make one YouTube video a week for 52 weeks. If you would like to revive your channel or start a new channel and be part of the project, there's a link to a Facebook group in the description that you can click. Come join us, hang out, post your videos, it'll be fun. This video was about Etsy, but I make videos every week about who knows what, and I post them every mystery day. If you would like to guess what day of the week I'm gonna post my next video, there's a poll in the description. You can click and try to guess and if you're right then you will be in the list of good guessers on the end screen. There's a video on the screen somewhere that you can click if you want to watch more of my face and thank you for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Goodbye!